It is the countdown to the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. It's next Wednesday in our nation's capital. CBS 46 will bring you full coverage of the event. Back here at home, Governor Brian Kemp laid out a positive picture of Georgia economics and good news for taxpayers today. But Democrats say the rosy outlook leaves out some of the hardships that Georgia is facing after opening too early. Capitol reporter Haley Mason live for us at the state capitol tonight. Haley. Rick, Governor Kemp is certainly proud of Georgia's economic standing in the midst of this deadly pandemic. He does add in this new budget $647 million to aid in K through 12 education, something that he's also proud of. He says he wants this budget made with no additional job cuts and no new taxes for Georgians. The state of the state is resilient and we will endure. Governor Brian Kemp today in his second state of the state address depicted Georgia as an example of economic strength despite the pandemic. Despite incredible loss and unprecedented challenges, Georgia is still standing. Often using agricultural references, Kemp said it's now time to plant into new soil, not placing blame from the last year, defending his decision to reopen Georgia businesses early. The budgets my administration will propose in the coming days include no new cuts to state agencies and departments, no furloughs, no widespread layoffs to state employees. In a little more than an hour, five minute speech, he focused on supporting teachers and reopening schools. Equating to a one-time supplement of $1,000 per teacher and other employees. Meanwhile, Georgia Democrats made it clear they do not agree with the governor on what Georgia should consider success in the pandemic. While the governor once again touted uh, business strength he notably omitted categories where Georgia ranks near the top in the United States. Georgia is sadly third highest in the nation of uninsured adults. The Democrats are pushing for Medicaid expansion and criminal justice reform. And while Governor Kemp made no mention of Georgia's divisive elections concerns, Republican leadership in both chambers have been pushing ID checks for absentee voting, an effort Democrats say they're ready to fight against. Requiring voters to provide additional documentation and ID to vote absentee disenfranchises people without access to printers, scanners, and the internet. And the Democrats say they want to also get rid of political influence in gerrymandering or political redistricting. They want an independent body to start drawing political lines, removing politicians who can seek to benefit from it. Meanwhile, Governor Kemp also adds he wants to reform Georgia's citizens' arrest laws. Reporting at the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.